Hey guys, it's Chris Walton, being a craftsman. Welcome to my workshop. So I want to show you how to make a French cleat system. Now, if you're not sure what that is, let me tell you a little bit about it. Say we have this wall right here. And what we want to do is mount an object. Say we're going to do a shelf here. And this is a view that like you're looking straight onto the thing. We're going to mount this to the wall. All right. Now, sometimes you might see you got a little nail here or you've got a wire and then you put a nail on the wall and you hang it on that. But in an instance where you're gonna hang something that's substantial amount of weight, or you're gonna hang coats or something like I'm gonna do, you're gonna to wanna to do a French cleat system. Now, what that is, is I'm gonna kinda of exaggerate the size here so you can see. It's basically a board which I typically go with a one by four. So this is one by four. And what we're gonna do is we are going to cut the board right here at about 45 degree angle and that is completely through so you'll have a board that's long and you end up with two pieces but they both have this cut that when you put them back together it forms that shape but what we're going to do is take this piece and mount it to the back of this piece that we're attaching to uh, the wall and we're going to take this piece mount it to this wall and what that does is it creates a wedge. So when we have, say we have this one to the wall, it's gonna look like this, all right? When we bring this piece over to mount on it, it's gonna have the adjoining piece that looks like this. And then once you set it up on here, it's gonna re recreate that form, but this wedge keeps this mounted very strong to the wall, keeps it rigid, keeps it from bouncing, and it does give you some wiggle room on where you want to place it, left or right. But let's go into dive into detail and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so to start this piece, we're going to take a piece of 1 by 4 and cut it to the length that we want. Now my shelf that I'm mounting is 34 inches wide. So I'm going to come in 2 inches on both sides, so I need to cut this 30 inches. So the next thing we want to do is go to our table saw. And this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky with creating the angle we want. So it's not very um, precise on where you want to go with your angle, but you do want to make sure you're pretty much in the center. So what we're going to do, raise up my blade, then I'm going to set it to a 45 degree angle. So the next thing what we're going to do is just try to eyeball a good center point on this. It does not need to be perfect, and that's about right there. All you're doing is creating two cuts, essentially, that will just meet together. And then we're going to run it through the table saw. Okay, so you now you see I have three boards. So what I'm going to recommend is when you cut these to the length you want, go ahead and cut another strip or find a strip of wood, even maybe if it's just pieces, that's the same thickness as this. Because what you want to do is mount something that's the same thickness as your French cleat on the bottom of what you're mounting to the wall. Because if you don't, it's going to kick out at the top, but the back of the bottom is going to be against the wall and it will be crooked and will not look right at all. So here's what the next step is. You're just going to take your drill and we're going to take a 1 8 inch drill bit and drill some holes for some screws. So like I said, you don't need to go and be perfect on this, especially the bottom one. This bottom one is merely there to keep it centered and keep it straight on the wall. Okay, so I've got you set in an angle where hopefully you will be able to see what we're doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the smaller one that it's going to go to the bottom and we're going to mount that to the bottom. So just one note and one little tip. I put a little countersink where all these holes are and you can do that with a drill bit that's larger and just very lightly go down into it or you can use a countersink drill bit and that'll help me kind of keep um, the orientation right knowing which one goes where and also the right side to the board. Okay, so we're going to take our two French cleats and kind of put them together. I find that that's helpful, so I make sure this is done correctly. 
And what we're gonna do is put this on the back of this board. Now what I like to do is to take my top piece and make it flush with the top of whatever you're mounting. And then that way, if you um, put something on top of the shelf or whatever you're mounting, this kind of keeps things from wanting to fall behind the shelf and then you have bigger problems on your hand. But I hope that from the angle you're seeing, you can actually see which one you're supposed to put against the back of your piece. So the next thing you want to do is go to where you're going to mount this. Make sure you figure out the height that you want to do it and then make sure you can kind of see where your studs are. You can use a stud finder. That's very helpful. In my case, I'm able to see the studs very simple because my boards are uh, a little bit on the cheaper side. We've got a remodel coming up in this area, so I'm not highly concerned about that. But I want to find those studs, make sure I can try to put screws where those are. If you can't put a bunch of screws in this thing, you know, maybe put five to six screws, angle them downward so that there's some pressure to keep it in the board. You can even use some anchors. You can do many different ways, but make sure you fasten this to the wall nice and securely. And then just take your piece and mount that onto the wall, letting those two hooks kind of hook each other. And then that is how you do a French cleat system. Okay, so that is the basics to a French cleat system. Now, if you search for a video to make this thing and to figure out what in the world a French cleat system is, I hope that I answered your, your uh, problem and answered your question. This is also kind of a companion video to a video that I just released today as well about making the shelf that I actually used this on. And if that's something that interests you, please go and click that link that's going to be in the description, also in a card above and at the end of this video. And you can watch me build the shelf that I actually mounted on the wall. Um, but I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel as well. As I always say, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.